Well, here we are again, Community Puzzle Project, 1.30 in the morning, time to play with the puzzle. Nice and quiet around here. Sammy's over at the controls. Chester's gone to bed already. Don't understand these guys. What can you do? All right, again, we are on, I think, where are we? This is the puzzle we're building. I think we're on row f four, five, four which is really five because we started at zero. Remember that conversation. Okay, let's go down to the Alba Villagers and let's get our colors. It should be, I think we need the purple one. There we go. Yep, we finished off row four. We are now on row five. Now look at this. Look how well this, the, the, you know, two different people, two different parts of the country. Look how close those line up. That's just so cool. You guys really, you need to pat yourselves on the back. Do we have any problems with this one? Mm, doesn't look like it. Possibly that might need a little photoshopping. But other, I think we're going to be able to buzz right through this one. So let's get, let's get at it. Uh, right here. And remember, we got to go into crop, and we do the two by three, and then we do a 2.3. And just snug it up. Now, what do we got? A little tipped. Mm, can we comp and out? See how it tapers down there at the end? So that's going to have to be a Photoshop one. So we're going to cancel that. Okay, we'll have to go over to Photoshop and do that one. Let's take a quick look at this one, the way we've got it, and see. We're going to do that. I might be able to do that one, because that looks like it's just twisted. Let's give it a quick, a quick looky, a looky-loo, as we say. And let's see, rotate. I might be able to do this one. Yeah, we can get this one done. That looks fairly good. I think we can go with that for at least first shot through. So we'll apply that and done with that one. That looks good. That looks good. That gives me enough room. So it looks like we just have this one. Let's go ahead and grab it. We send it over to Photoshop, which I opened up earlier. Make a copy first. So once the copy's made, it should open up fairly quickly. And it did indeed. So we need that open. Make it smart. We all could use some smartness. Once it's smart, we go over to raw camera. I like the background we have on this one. It looks like she, everybody did it, they laid it on top of their other puzzle, other uh, paintings. Do that. Do that. Look like it did pretty good. Let's just give it a quick, quick check though, just to make sure that we're in agreement with it. Mm -hmm. Across the bottom. And then one down the edge. Okay. Should be able to work with that. Do a quick save. As quick as can be. Waiting for the saving. Here we go. So I'm going to export quick PNG. The PNG format keeps all the detail without compressing it too bad, whereas a, a JPEG will compress your image. And by compressing it, what it does is, like, it has all these light tones. It will leave that out of the data file and just rebuild it when it opens it back up. So sometimes your quality gets degraded by doing that. Let's go back over here. And we have to turn all these off so we can find this guy. We're in the purples. Here we go. 
So we know we don't want that one or that one, and we want this one. And we can just turn the purple row back on. I got him. Okay. Go to edit. Crop. 2.3. And see if we're a little bit better than we were. Oh, we are a lot better. Isn't it amazing what you can do? Technology. We'll go with that. We have a little bit in the top, a little bit in the bottom. We have to line up something, but that's what we got. Looks good. All right, we'll go back. We have the second one already done, so we're on number three of this group on this row. And that's this one, which they gave me a tight image. So this is just going to be a straight crop and go. All I have to do is just make sure we have the size set right. 2.3. And that's pretty much centered. That's it. That's all we can do. Beautifully painted, though. Just hope we don't need any extra. So this is going to be a quick run. Oh, we got slight tips. I didn't see that in the darkness. See how it's, this is pushed back. Uh, quick scan. I don't know. Not sure if I can get away with this one. We'll know in a second. Let's see. No. Because I have to crop it. I have to cut. Well, it's only brown in the top. We might be okay. What else is over here? Nothing. I, you know, I'm, I'm going to go with this. I think we're going to be okay. Got lucky. We'll take luck once in a while, right? Top of books. That's the bottom of books. Look how well these two line up. And these three. That, that's, that's impressive, guys. Sorry. I quickly, I digress. Two point three. And this will just be a straight crop. And this looks like they line up pretty darn close. Okay. Looks like all these folks gave the full size images too, which is greatly appreciated. And what do we got? Slightly tipped. Slightly, slightly, slightly. It's the same type of color on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep it. Since that color is the same, and we'll just see how it lines up. We can always come back and tip it and stretch it and do the things we need to do if needed. But for right now, you know, first thing we're doing is getting the first cut through here. Now this is interesting, these two different colors. Look how different the colors are. This is going to be the fun part, is trying to get the colors to get a little bit closer. Here's another one was fully cropped. Oh, baby image. Boo hiss. Boo hiss, boo hiss. That's the smallest image you guys can send me. And we'll go with it. I was thinking about how I'm going to have to put this together, and what, what's going to happen is I've got to export these out as a two-inch file, or a three-inch, three-inch across. And so some of these lower quality ones, the lower resolutions, they may not be able to do that. That's, well, we might do that in the next video, is, is take a look at that so we can start thinking what we're going to do here. Now, this is nicely done. Looks like it was done on paper, which is fine. Hey. Doesn't matter. And 2.3. Let's just see if we can square this up a little bit. Tips ever so slightly. I think we're going to be okay with that. 
because it gave enough bleed. So I'm going to go with that again. If we have to come back to it, we can. That looks good. You know, you crop that. Look at that. That looks good. So this is uh, so that that's part of a D, I believe. Ooh, it's supposed to line up with that one. Gonna have to do a little work with those. Okay, we did that row. I'm thinking in record time. Um, okay, so next thing we need to do, we gotta make these all red, which is, I think that's a six. Let's try it. Six, yep. That's a shortcut. Which would make sense, seeing how there's five stars and then we have six. All right, so now we have to bring the stars up. And we gotta get rid of the colors. Oh, we just need one star. Okay, now what do we want to do? That's three. Why is that three? That's a special one. That's in the that's the first piece. Okay, we're going to leave that one alone for a second. These are ones. All right, so we got to make these guys. Um, we'll make them sevens. This is a five. Okay, five. Five zero, five one, five two, five three, five four, five five, five six, and that would be seven. And then this will be eight. This would be green. That's a zero, one. Okay, we got two of these. We're gonna take this one off. Now what happened is the person I was waiting for, didn't, didn't respond, and I didn't think, I, you know, whatever reason, we didn't have communications going, so I had another person do it. I hope that person will no, this is square. Ugh. I don't know what that's going to do, guys. But, well, so I had a, a, a second person do it, and... Then the other person came up and said, hey, I did it. So that's why I got to work on communication. Now, where's my seven? Seven, seven's missing. I know it came in. All right, we'll have to find it. I don't know where it went to. All right, so now we got to get rid of the stars. So we can just turn the stars off. Turn that off, and then we can go to these colors. So we're missing the last piece again, but it is here somewhere. Oh, it didn't have a star yet. It didn't have anything yet. That's why. So we can find it. That should be it there. 7C. Ha, ha, ha. And that's a 9. Okay. So we are on yellow. We're in the yellow row now, right? Because we have the reds. Let's turn red back on. And that should be everybody. Yep. So that's the whole gang. I'm going to turn the reds off, so we just have to work with the one row right now. Tight, tight. Ooh, crop marks. Look at that. That's fancy. Somebody knows what they're doing. And one tight one. Let's take the row. Well, I guess I want to see what the row above it looks like. Um, ooh, that's going to be a hard fit. See, this this puzzle, this book right here, I believe, is this book. Let's go over and see. That was... Oh, it kind of does look distorted this way, doesn't it? Well, they're not right next to each other, so this corner is the end of this book, okay? So it does look distorted, which is fine. So now we look back here again. Oops. We have it? Wait a minute. We have everybody again. In yellow. So that... I'm a little confused on that piece. Oh, that's down here. I have one more below. Oh, I needed one above uh, four. So I want four to five. Four, that's three, there's four, four to 
five. Oh, it's this piece. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can work with it. Come on. We can do anything, guys, right? We're professionals. All right, let's just turn the reds off and just go with our yellow. Okay, anybody going to need special attention? Doesn't look like it. Looks like we have another clean run, so it's going to be a double run. And then we'll stop after this one. Two point three. I know we are almost there, though. Aren't it? I mean, this is coming together as far as getting the first crop through. Apply. Next. That's nice. So the problem I think that we're having is the quality of the image that I have to end up giving you guys is really hard for you to judge what's there. And so I'm, I'm thinking what I want to do is try to convince you, don't try to figure out what's there, just paint what you see. That's kind of what I'm thinking this person did. I mean, if you, we have to look at their puzzle piece on this particular one, but they saw certain colors and certain shapes and that's all they did. And I think that's going to be the best approach unless we find a higher quality image, which, like I said, um, just because the way uh, the Internet works and the, kind, and the quality of image that the Internet needs, it doesn't need high quality images. So they're bigger files, they're harder to download. So that's why they make smaller, yuckier files. That's technical talk, you know, yucky. Let's see if I got those books to line up. Ooh, close. See how close we are? So that just has to slide down just a skosh, and we'll have that piece. Not a biggie. This is so exciting. Now, this is fancy. Okay, so a crop mark is exactly, this is what's called the bleed. See the, the white line here, and anything over it, that's the bleed. So when, when you print something, when you send it to a printer, so to speak, not, not like what we do now, but in the olden days for magazines and things, you would have to have the image bigger than what they'd want, and they'd want to see the crop marks outside of the image, kind of like what you've seen here. So this person's telling me that this one, if they did it right, should line up on those marks. And it's going to be close, because that's where they want me to have it. So it's there. See how my edge is? I'm going to be a little bit wider. I'm not going to take it as small as they've got it. I want a little more, more room. But if I, t I could take it down the rest of the way, and it looks like they, they matched it up pretty darn good. Well, not good. Well, pretty darn well. I'm going to tip it a little bit because it's slightly skewed. That looks a little bit better. I'm going to take a little extra right now in case I need it. But that's what a crop mark is. And when I said bleed the edges, that's showing you exactly what I meant. You're going past keeping the same information, but going past it. That little corner should go in there. That's, that's going to be close. That's a nice shot. That looks like a canvas sheet. Very nicely done. Anything you wanted to paint it on? Whoopsie, not that one. One above it. No. Rotate. Thank you. I don't know why I wanted to go that way. Sometimes it tries to determine if you're doing a vertical or a horizontal. I don't know what it bases it on, but it's usually wrong. So you just tell it to flip it. And where we go. Looks pretty good. We are just cranking through. Now this has got interesting colors in it. I do like your creativity. Cre creativity. Now, this is interesting. They painted it on the corner of a piece of canvas. Isn't that interesting? And it's slightly bowed. I got a feeling we may have to bring this one over, but over to Photoshop. But let's give it a quick looky loo. Let me just see. Oh. I'm not going to cut into it too badly. I'm going to go with that. 
We may have to do a little touch up here and there, but I'm going to go with that for right now because I don't think it's too far off. Ooh, look how well those two books match. That's interesting. I wonder why they show so much gray. See, this is the, this is the color that was really, I mean, if you go back to the original, it was really more of a green. And that's a whole nother topic that we're going to discuss. Oh, this is the piece that um, Ginger did with the nail. She didn't know what that was to begin with. She said, I'm just going to put it in. I don't know what it is. She does that a lot. We do some of the academy lessons, and she's painting along, and, and I know what it is. I'm looking at it as we're recording it. Mm, what do we got here? And I go, <clears throat> you need to do something to this, you know, whatever, whatever it is. And I go, she goes, why? And I go, because it's this. He goes, really? That's what it is? Not knowing. That's, I'm trying to remember that nail is cut into, I think the nail is all, oh, well, we'll just, we'll have to slide this up and down, I'm sure. I think the nail, that's a nail or a bolt down there at the bottom. And one more. Now that's, I wonder, hmm, okay, that's, that's no wonder. Let's just do it. Oh, you shot me small again. A thousand. That's not even, that's not even a megabyte size. Okay, what we're going to have to do, let me see how long I've been on this one. We're going to have to roll it over in another I kind of like to have you guys sitting here watching this stuff too long. Looks like they almost painted that exactly the size, no bleed. Ooh. All right. So what we got? Oh, that little line there's it. Okay. I didn't know how that was going to match up with this shape. All right. These can now go to red, which is, we said it was five, no, it was six. See it all disappearing? Because I don't have red selected anymore. Go to red. Let's see how we look. Oh, look at that. Look how well these two line up. That's exciting. Oh, look at the sign. <gasps> oh, you guys are impressing me. Look at that. This is good. Kind of shifted colors between these spots, but, sorry, but you two matched. You guys must have been in cahoots. This is interesting. Look at the book here. That really changed color. That's good. Well, it's all good. It's just, it's just interesting. Oh, you guys, you're just making me so proud. You all the guys are just doing it. All right, we got to stop here. Yeah, we got to stop. Then I'm going to do another quickie. Is it two o'clock? All right. This is it for this one. What, what row do we get to? What row do we get to? Not the green row. We're on row five. So we have six, seven, six and seven. We have only two more rows to go. There's excitement in the air.